Hey guys, welcome back to Top 1% and today's video is something about more than me or you. It's about our planet and more importantly, 5 food habits that are killing our planet. Now in today's video, not only will I tell you what small changes can you make in your eating habits that can drastically change the planet, but also I'll tell you what you can eat that can drastically improve your health as well. Cause let's face it, we humans are selfish in our own rights. We wouldn't do anything to step out of our way to do something for anybody else or for the planet unless it helps us in some way. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. And I guarantee you, if you pro promise to follow what I tell you in today's video, it will add amazing value to both your life and the planet. So let's get started. Now, the first food habit that's killing our planet is eating processed meat. Now, did you know that processed meat accounts for 15% of all the pollution on our planet, which is equivalent to the pollution caused by all the vehicles put together? This is absolutely insane to me. Now, let me first tell you how processed meat or factory fed meat is produced. First, the animals are fed with hormone altered food and they are injected with steroids. And more importantly than anything else, these animals are tortured to death, which induces negative chemicals in their brain, which you can imagine is not really good for your body. And if you want to completely avoid non veg, that's your choice. And here's a very interesting quote I found. Paul McCartney once said, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, everyone would be vegetarian. And I could not agree with it anymore. If you want to eat meat anyways, please opt for grass fed meat which is much healthier for you and also better on the planet. Grass fed animals get to stay in the natural habitat, they eat the natural food and it's obviously better for you and the planet. Apart from that, avoid red meat. Red meat causes a huge amount of carbon footprint and also demands a lot of water. And by a lot, I mean this much. Also. Seafood is much much better than eating red meat, so go for it if you want to. Here's a fun fact, if the meat consumption went down by just 50%, everybody on the planet would have enough water, which means nobody would be thirsty. So it's your choice, would you rather stuff your mouth with more meat than you need, or let little Baku here in Africa get the water that he deserves. The choice is yours. The second food habit that's killing our planet is use of plastic. Plastic does not decompose organically. It releases toxic chemicals which are horrible for your body. And as you can see in the pictures, millions of animals every year choke and suffocate to death by eating plastic. I don't think you want that. I don't want that. So reduce the use of plastic. So what can you do to avoid plastic? You can't avoid it altogether, not in one day at least. So the next time you order food outside, click on that little button that says skip plastic wear. And also avoid using single plastic use containers, cups and plastic straws etc etc. You do the math, it's pretty simple. The third food habit that's killing our planet is wasting food. How simple is that? Stop wasting food. So the next time you don't need any food and you have leftovers, donate it to somebody that needs it. And did you know that one third of the food that's produced is actually wasted? As in this food is put in a dump yard and set on fire. This produces lots of methane which pollutes the air. So do the smart thing, don't waste food. Avoiding plastic, processed meat and not wasting food. I'm sure you knew about that, but this fourth point that's killing our planet is not eating enough fruits and vegetables. Now, let me explain why. First of all, eat fruits and vegetables because it's filled with fiber content, vitamins and minerals. All that you need to lose fat and stay healthy overall. When you start opting in for fruits and vegetables instead of the unhealthy stuff, this drastically reduces the greenhouse emissions and also the impact caused by carbon footprint. That's pretty simple and it's also really healthy for you. Now, how much fruits and vegetables should you eat? At least one third of the food that you eat should come from fruits and vegetables. That's the healthy guidelines at least. 
All right, this fifth food habit that's killing our planet is the ultimate villain both for the planet and mainly for your health. So, this is eating refined sugar. Let me explain how brilliantly the sugar manufacturers have conned you into this endless cycle of eating refined sugar. So, this is how it starts. You eat refined sugar which immediately spikes up the blood insulin levels. And what happens then? It basically stores body fat. That's all it does. That's all the purpose it serves. You eat sugar and it stores body fat. Alright. After this, your blood pressure increases which causes you to be more tired and restless and makes you crave for more sugar. See that? That's a brilliant marketing strategy. Evil but brilliant. So, when you crave for more sugar, you eat more sugar. And this is an endless cycle. A never ending cycle to mint money and ruin your health. Okay, so let me summarize today's video for you. Point number one, avoid processed meats. Point number two, reduce plastic usage. Point number three, stop wasting food. Point number four, eat lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. Point number five, say no to refined sugar. Alright, so before you stop watching this video, share this video, not for me, but for the planet. And for me, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to put a lot of quality content, which will definitely help you out in your fitness and health journey. So until next time, take care, stay hungry.